Hello and welcome back everyone to some more Luigi's Mansion. So I thought I'd start off the episode with this little cutscene here of opening the door with the key and well, this happens. Lightning strikes the mansion and everything goes out! Crimey, what a calamity! The elec- the electricity has gone out! That lightning strike just must- just now must have caused a blackout. I can't see anything in this blasted darkness. The ghost will have to run of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. Really? Really? Holy shit. So, what I'm gonna do is... <laughs> I know what you need to do. Now, to figure this out, I don't know why the hell they'd expect you to figure this shit out. But apparently, you know, you've just gotta roll with it. You know, you've gotta let these ghosts just appear whenever the hell they like. And they'll do whatever the hell they like as well. So, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to figure this out exactly. But what you're supposed to do is turn the lights back on by finding a certain ghost. And he likes the room, he likes rooms with mirrors. Now, I believe this is exactly what you're supposed to do, but oh, I can't remember exact. I, I can't remember everything. Now, you'll notice that these, these extra doors have appeared. Now, don't trust them, because they're ghost doors. As he said, you know, the ghosts will have the run of the place. Which is exactly what they're doing. You know, because, well, obviously, clearly... You know, the ghosts are going mental. Oh shit, shit, shit! Now, get out of here. Just, just, just... I, I just need the mirror! Just need the mirror! Please. There we go, there we go! No, 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 just, just... There we go. Oh my god, that, that took a long time. Right, so that wasn't actually meant to happen the way it did. You'll notice that all the toads have gone as well, which is kind of annoying. Now, if I remember correctly, you do need to go up here and into this room with mirrors. You'll notice that all these like starter ghosts have come back as well. You just want to ignore them, just keep moving. If you try and like fight them off, you'll just you will be overrun, trust me. It's not easy. So just keep moving, you'll be fine. Now, this is the room with this guy. You just literally need to wait until he does that. And eventually, yeah, he'll he'll reveal his heart by himself. And, well, there you go. Now, basically, what, what um, prof the professor would have said, if you had waited around a bit, I believe, or tried to, I don't know, do other things, he basically would have said, oh, well, there's this one ghost that you can capture in the dark. Because he, you know, like, before you get all the lights and stuff on, because he only likes the dark, and he likes rooms with mirrors, and it's like, well, you take, you can take this opportunity to go and capture him, which is, well, this guy. I don't believe he's optional, because, well, you need this chest to unlock this key, which will then unlock the next room. Which, as you can see, is that room down there. Which, actually, is the basement. Now, we've never actually been to the basement, because we've never really had a reason to. I don't know why I just went back in here when I could quite easily just use this mirror. But yeah, no, we've never actually been to the basement. So, for the first time, you get to see what the basement looks like. Now, before this, before, you know, every light went in the mansion went out and that, you would actually have been able to just go to the basement. Oh, oh, Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Why? Why did you pick now? Of all times. Seriously. That was the golden mouse that I was telling you about in like the first episode of Luigi's Mansion where if he appears he gives you like the most amazing treasure if you capture him. And I can't believe I just missed him. That was absolute bullshit. But yeah, this is the basement. Now this room would have originally been unlocked if you, had, you know, before this happened with all the lights going out. This room would have already been unlocked. Now because it isn't because all the lights did go out and you need a key to get in here, they, well, they made it locked. So this is basically all we need to do to turn the lights back on is just activate the switch. Oh, yeah. Now why didn't we just keep that on all the time? It would have made life so much easier. I do believe this gives us a key as well. And that unlocks the room right next to us, of course. Now where are... Where is the boo for this place? He's usually in these barrels, but you can never tell exactly which one because he always bloody moves. It's really annoying. Come on, show yourself. There he is. 200, are you serious? 200 health is what I've got to get through. No, 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 no. Get back in here, get back in here. 
Oh my gosh. I can't believe this guy. That's the first boo I've lost this entire series. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh are you serious? I almost had the guy. God dang it. Now, with this room, it's pretty fairly straightforward and pretty easy. Like, all you need to do really is just get rid of these dust bubbles on the floor. And to activate the ghost to make the light appear, it's really quite simple as, well, you can just... Well, okay, I don't want to do that. I want to... I know I'm, like, trying to do, like, four different conversations at the same time. That's just how I do it. But yeah, basically all you need to do is just act, you know, hoover up all these little obstacles in the room. And that'll activate ghosts and you suck them up and, well... That activates the uh, chest right there. So what I want to do is get rid of all these little dust particle things because, well, they're annoying and... Oh my gosh, just I didn't want to do that. Just please, just stop. I don't even know why they put them there. There's no need for them there. There's absolutely no use for them whatsoever. It's just really annoying and gets in the way. Alright, so, let's see. Get rid of these. I do believe this one gives you treasure as well. I don't believe it gives you a key. So what I want to do is get the boo first. There he is. No, 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 you little fucker. I swear to God, get back in that fucking room. Alright, there we go. There he is, there he is. Get him, get the little bastard. Now, I really want to capture this one because I have no idea which room the other boo went into. He may well have just gone back into the room that he was originally in because he wasn't in that, uh, that hallway there, so I don't know yet. I mean, I guess we'll see what happens, but I believe this is just treasure, so let's find out. Oh, no, it's a key. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> and that leads to... Ah! Uh, I know where we're going. So, realistically, you could have just kept going. Let's see if the boo has returned to his original spot. I believe he might have, because the yellow thing is flashing. Oh, where are you? Where are you, you little bastard? Are you in here? Oh, seriously? Well, in that case, we've lost our first boo of the series, viewers. Number 41. So there'll be two boos in uh, one of the basement rooms later when we come back there and do some stuff in there. But for now, well, we're just going to have to ignore them. We're near, we're near 50 anyway. Near enough. And bear in mind, you don't actually need to get all 50 boos in order to complete the game. It's just a completion thing that, you know, gives you nice little... Uh, well, what's the word? A, that sense of achievement. Alright, so I'll meet you over in that little hallway there on the top floor and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so here we are back on the little balcony thing here. Now, this door is finally unlocked, so let's use the special key. And you can see it's a special big key because, well, in the little cutscene there, you blue key. It's not the same as the rest. Now, the door we want to go to is this door right at the end here, but on the right. Now, this is where the professor will actually tell you that, well... You know, there's going to be a ghost that you can only get in the mirror room. Now, usually the phones would ring and he'd tell you through there. But I seem to have missed the opportunity and just gone through him straight away anyway. So that's kind of crap. But, well, uh, there's not really much I can do about it now. I kind of missed out on the opportunity. I just thought they would have gone regardless, but apparently not. So what you want to do for this room, to, in order to light it up, all you need to do is just get all the bone people in here. Yeah, that's right. Give it a good bone. You know what I mean. And that will that should activate the rest of them. Like so. And then that should activate the light once you've got them all. It's pretty much the same principle as the garden, like where all the uh, funeral stuff was. Now that chest will, for a fact, I know it will, it will give us a load of treasure. Because, well, we've already got the key for the next room, so why would we need another key, you know? Right, that's a boo ball. I don't want that. Alright, where can I get the boo from? Where are you, boo? Where are you, boo? Uh, ah, there we go. 300 boomerang. Now, this is actually one of the ones that really does cause me trouble every single time I play through the fucking game. Simply for that reason. Because he'll just piss off. There we go. Treasure. Treasure chest. Ha ha. Alright, let's get the last couple of coins and dollar dollars. Dollar dollar. Yeah, let's get the last couple of coins and dollars here. 
and then we should be able to proceed into the next room. Mm. Now, if he hasn't hidden already, he should still be in here, but he's not. So, this is where our next boss will take place. Now, what you want to do to activate these guys... Now, as you may have noticed, there are three little people here. Now, what you want to do to activate these guys is you want to activate each little alarm clock. And that should play a tune, which will activate the tin soldiers. Oh, wait, no, that's not... That's not a alarm clock. And there you go. Now they're activated. Now what you want to do is just suck off their little back compartment parts. And that will eventually get them sucked in to your hoover. When they actually, well, take the time to do what they do. There's no way I can describe what, I, what the hell I'm doing in this game. Like, I've tried so many times to describe it, but it just, I don't know. These are actually some of the ghosts that gave me the most trouble back when I was a kid trying to play through this game. Um, just simply because of their guns, like they shoot, they actually shoot at you. So it's quite hard to get them, you know, to actually try and suck them up. Because they can be very, very, very difficult sometimes. Sometimes when you're trying to suck one in, you know, you can get two at the same time. But, you know, I'm not going to go for that because that seems far too skilled for my level of expertise. I say my level of expertise is not really that much. But yeah, no, this is the only reason that they're so difficult. Is because when you're trying to, you know, suck one of them in, you've got another one trying to shoot you. And most of the time they do succeed. So it's kind of annoying that you can't get both of them all the time. But I almost got those two as well. Alright, come on, you're nearly dead. You're nearly dead. Just, just get in here. Just get in here. Please, 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 they're coming. They are coming. And, oh, seriously, they're all on, like, five health? Come on, this this guy I know is nearly dead. There we go, there we go. Right, he's down. Next. He's on five health as well, so he's down. Now, this, I believe, is the main one. There we go, here we go. This is the one that was going to give us coins. Come on, you little bastard. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Oh, yes. There we go. I don't believe this room actually gives you a chest, but it does give you a new boo. So let's find out where this guy's hiding and get him. Come on. Where you at? Where the hell... Oh, is he in... No, no, no. I want to... For God's sake, Luigi. There we go. Oh, no, no. That's a boo bomb. I always get prepared, like, as soon as I see them trying to come out. I'm just like, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Get the hoover ready. Oh, give me a... I didn't know you could get health. Apparently you can. Come on. Oh, this is one of them. Oh, there's Boomerang again. Now, we're going to encounter him, like, so many times, I think. Because, well, he's one of the hardest ones to get. I'm not going to go chasing him all the way out there. If he wants to stay out there, that's fine by him. But as for me right now, I just want to continue as normal. There we go. Six o'clock booze. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's, one of the, well, that's one of the few ones that I actually do like as well. Now, I'm going to try and get this one on first try, but again, no promises as... Well, he is actually quite difficult to get. Oh, come on. They're not difficult in terms of like how they react. It's just difficult in terms of like how much health they have. And also, you know, you, you do have to actually get over to them first. And Luigi always takes his time trying to get his hoover out as well, which is annoying. So they're both in the hallway. That's fantastic. Alright, one of them's probably gone back in somewhere. Alright, I'm going to lure him back in there. And then we'll try and get him... Come on, you little bastard. Come on! I'm not prepared to lose any more booze today. Come on, 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 come on! Yes! God, that was tense. You stalk booze like a master. Hail the fearless boo hunter. You know, that sounds really bad, that I stalk them. Like, I stalk booze just to hunt, hunt them down and suck them up. I'm guessing the other guy, well, he's pissed off again in a different room. So the only thing left to do is take the lift. <laughs> to the roof! Now, I can't remember if you do actually need the fire elemental or not for this part. I think you do, which is why there's a campfire there. But I don't think it's actually necessary. I don't know, I, I, I believe there is one part where you're going to need fi the fire elemental. But it may be the water elemental. Although I've already sucked up the fire elemental anyway, so my point has just gone completely out the window. 
Alright, give me a mask so I can suck you both up. And then the elemental ghost should start appearing. And we've actually got quite a few important things to do on this roof, viewers, before I end the episode today. Because, well, there's a lot of stuff to get through. Bear in mind, this roof will come in importance towards the uh, the end of the game, viewers. So keep that in mind and, you know, definitely remember that. Okay, so it is fire that we need. In that case, I'm just going to keep fire on him because I really can't be asked to suck the guy up. And there's a campfire right next to me, so if I need more fire, I can just get it anyway. There should be another one appearing at some point. Come on. Where are you? There he is. The roof will actually light up, by the way. I have no idea how, but it will. It will light up when we've got rid of all the ghosts, which is kind of weird, really. You will get a chest, though. And there it is. What do you know? All right, so what I want to do, I want to go and get the chest first, and then there's something else I want to do on the roof, just quickly. Now, a lot of people tend to miss this, and I don't know why, but, well, uh, I guess I'll be showing you. All right, well, there's the key. Now, I believe that takes us down to the basement? No, no, it doesn't. It takes us to the room right across from where we are. All right, well, never mind then. Now, there will be another boss in that room. But for right now, I don't really want to go there just yet. We'll probably be doing that next time anyway. So, what I want to do is I want to go up this other ladder on the other side here. And you'll notice that there's a sort of diving board. Now, if you just keep walking and walk right off the edge of it, it will take you to a secret room. This is the sealed room. Now, you'll notice that the room is actually in darkness right now. Now, I believe that there are certain chests with, well, treasure ghosts, obviously, as I actually did get this one. That's the first treasure ghost I've got in a while, actually. Kind of surprised I did get him. Yeah, whatever. That's nice, though. This is just another treasure room, like the one that I showed you at the beginning of the game. Now, the one at the beginning of the game actually took me a long, a long, long time to figure out that that was actually a treasure room and that you could actually go in there. Now, a lot of people tend to miss this treasure room, and I don't know why, because, well, it's pretty obvious where it is. I mean, if you just go the other side of the roof and go on the other ladder, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. It's, you know, it's just... I don't know. I mean, if there was a ladder one side of a roof, I would always check the other side anyway, just in case. I mean, I, I would just imagine that's what people do, but apparently not. Alright, so behind this, now this will be our way out. Because behind this is actually a mirror. That would be your only way out, because there's no way in or out of this room other than that. Now, you, do, you, do, you will actually notice that as soon as you activate this chest, every single ghost will appear. The 40 ones, the 30 ones, the 20 ones, and the 10 ones. So, like, you know, all at the same time as well. So, it's not going to be an easy ride. I will admit that much. But what I'd recommend is taking out the higher level ghost first. There is actually a zero one as well, but... Well, you can't really do much with him just yet. So I'm going to get the ten guy first. And considering this guy's only on like ten health as well. Might as well get him as well. Oh, no, no, no. Watch out for the bomb. Oh, god damn it. I can never get this guy, like, properly. He's really annoying. There we go. I believe this gives us a key, which is weird, really, but apparently it does. I can't remember where to, though. Ah, I remember. Ah, uh, yes. Because I always used to wonder why that room was always locked and why there was never a key for it when I couldn't find this room. But then when I did find this room, well, it shows you that, well, you can actually go in that room because there's a key to give you it. So there are actually keys for every door. No matter how locked you think a door is in this game, there is actually a key somewhere. And you will have to do something to get it. So, yeah, you know, you do kind of, well, need to do something. Which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. I mean, it's quite good, really. Like, in terms of a game developer, I would think that quite good. But, yeah, that's the door on the outside there. It looks exactly the same. So you can't actually get in here without dropping through the roof. So, yeah, that's the only way you can actually get in here, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so, last chest here. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Give me the last, give me the last stuff. Give me the last stuff. There we go. I can't remember if I got the uh, chandelier or not. I think I did. Yeah, I did. And that's everything. So, what I want to do is take this mirror back. And we, wait, what? One really shouldn't open this kind of thing without asking. No, no, I want, I want the mirror. What? What are you doing? I want the mirror. 
There we go. My god, why was that so difficult? Well, there you go. Alright, well, I'm actually going to end the episode there, viewers, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you all next time. So, other than that, all that's safe for me is I hope you're all having a great day, and farewell! How simple is it? Just seriously. Get him! There's He's got one health! Are you fucking serious?